we've got Mike Donnelly here from La Frite Belgian Cafe. And you've got some yummy crepes we were going to show us how to make, right? Yes, hey, Chef. Yeah. What up? So I think we're going to go with sweet for you because right. that just fits you. Yeah. And then uh, we're going to do savory. If you're not going to do the crab, you're going to do the uh, ham. You yeah. know. <laughs> you're not too crabby, you know. You know what, Chef? I'm glad I'm not sweet. And yes, I am a ham. So that's good. <laughs> Believe it or not, this dude wanted to be a doctor, but he fell in love with food. So this is all about the love of food, isn't it? It's all about the love. It's all about the love. So please uh, grab a crepe, Fiona. Thank you, Miles. Just grab one. Oh, well, I wanted all of it. I, you know. Wait, they're stuck We can get some layered crepes pretty soon here. I'll take a crepe. All right. So Isn't first, um, so a little bit about what you got going on here. We have chocolate mousse, we have pe poached pears, okay. and we can do a berry crepe. Ooh. So it kind of, whatever you, whatever you're, whatever you're feeling, or you can do? make your own and just kind of go crazy. I don't okay. know. Okay, all right. Can, can I combine some stuff? I think so. I think so. I think okay. it's good. That's right. the beauty of a crepe. So yeah. I think maybe we should garnish. So okay. fix the, find out all the fruit you would like, okay. and then garnish it maybe with some chocolate mousse. All right, Sounds I'm like on a pretty it. good okay. uh, fun time. All right. And then for you, Mr. Jeff, we have, uh, so grab some ham here. Grab some ham. And spoon some ham. I'm <laughs> I got ham. Yeah, get, get that ham. ham spoon in. What know? is the deal with this itty bitty spoon? I know. <laughs> That's very French. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's dainty, okay? It's dainty. It's <laughs> All right, we'll spoon so the ham. Just, put that in there. Yeah, man. There you go. And then is. we're going to grab some uh, cheese with that. We need some cheese. Uh, you're looking. Looking awesome. I like there. that. Okay. This, and you and know what? You, you can. Oh, I, a garnish. lot of people think yeah. think crepes are very dainty, but you, they can be they can really be, savory. They, they can be savory. Decadent. They can be decadent. anything you want. Oh, yes. You can kind of put anything. It's like you know a, a morning pancake or a dessert pancake. Sometimes. Yeah. You, know? you can't really go wrong. Yeah. You yeah, can't really you go can wrong eat these with any that. time of the day. So. Um, and then we also have, uh, I don't think the uh, orange liqueur sauce might mm -hmm. go too well with that mm -hmm. one, but um, maybe a little bit of whipped cream and whipped just kind of go crazy. Whipped cream, done. And right. add, add, add a mushroom or two in there. Look at that. Real so you can basically just build this. I mean, it doesn't even have to fit yeah. in the crepe. Right? Yeah, exactly. And then we're supposedly, so try to roll that up there. Tr try. Try. Let's just give it, a, give it a whirl, you know. Well, that's about it. It's like, yeah, it's like a taco. That works. <laughs> that's crab. Meat. That's go. crab. So, and this is not crab meat with a K. No, it's not. <laughs> this is real meat. Yeah, just look real meat. Look so we this. have um, a couple of finished crepes as well. Um, right oh, here, this is the berry crepe with the whipped cream and the uh, Suzanne sauce. We've named that after the uh, leader, of, the CEO of Culinaria. Because it's usually Suzette, but we went with Suzanne just because it's Culinaria. So we're, we're going with that today. And we also have a little bit of pesto on top of it to, to garnish that. And we have two finished cra a crab crepe and a ham crepe finished up there. So. so when people go to this, I mean, there's going to be all sorts of types of food. Oh, what yeah. are prices like? So um, it's all kinds of food. It's a three-course menu, which is awesome. You get, a entre you get an appetizer, an entree, and dessert. And for every prefix, uh, the $15 prefix, a dollar for that $15 lunch goes to Culinaria. A dollar of it. And then the dinner is $2 per one. And all goes to benefit the urban farm that they're building. Um, and by the, by off, right off Hubner Road, it's going to be amazing. So that helps keep it local. You're giving right back. Yeah, into we're giving the right back to that local food foodie community that we got going on here. It's awesome. Oh, look at that! That's a nice folding job over there. That is, yeah, it's like I do my and underwear. And Coronaria <laughs> is uh, going to be the 18th to the 23rd, um, and I think there's over 50 restaurants um, participating. So we have Good. lots of uh, lots of lots of food to eat and lots of shoes to fill. I guess I don't know or. Stretch or, or some we can use those pajamas you need, from Christmas. You need stretchy oh, pants. Yeah, yeah. You need Santa some pants. Of, some of the Santa pants. Santa you know. belt. <laughs> yeah, your, your Thanksgiving, your after Thanksgiving pants. There exactly, you go. Exactly. Exactly. All right. For more information, of course, on Culinaria's Restaurant Week, just head to our website, salive.com.